that was not our intention. But we just thought that five million women and nine million children should not be living off the hand in hand of government. Under those types of rules, we believed in freedom. We wanted them to live free. And we began this journey to reduce the size of government in the black community. Now, unfortunately for us, after I moved all of my interests from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C., about five years ago, it was the same year that Nancy Pelosi picked up the gavel. And, and in an attempt to change this country and the, and the direction that the country was going, we thought we were moving poor communities into the free market. Instead, we started seeing the free market going into socialism and secularism. So our group currently is protecting freedom. We promote personal responsibility. We're doing a lot of defenses, but we're on the process of doing the offense by launching a television show coming up this March. Yep. March, we're launching a television show so that we can go out into the uh, harder hit communities and let them know that the answer to poverty is prosperity. The answer to poverty is freedom. It's personal responsibility. It's not a welfare state. And I'm a syndicated columnist um, for Scripps News Services, so the people we want to reach are not the ones that are reading their news, so I'm bringing my column to life uh, beginning this March. That's um, a part of why I'm here. Now, back on to what Kevin just discussed about the religious community. He's absolutely right. It is a community that polls uh, that they love God. It is a community that regularly attends church. It is the most church community in our society. But unfortunately, those values are not uh, expressed in their own lives because it's also a community that has a tremendous breakdown. Uh, I think that one of the reasons for the breakdown is directly the result of the welfare state. As we begin our war on poverty, we begin to see increases in uh, sexual promiscuity. Blacks move from 70% of their households, the children in those households being raised by married parents, to today 70% being raised by single uh, parents. And when you have single parents trying to raise children, the first lesson that a child learns is that commitment is not important. Without a value of commitment, they don't commit to their studies, they don't commit to their communities, and they don't commit to other people in relationships. So we perpetuated the problem uh, through allowing the social engineering of the 60s to continue. Uh, the size and scope of government does have to be reduced. I'll be working with Congressman Ryan to make sure that the changes that he wants to occur in our entitlement uh, programs do occur, that we do reform these programs so that we can begin the process again for those that are most vulnerable in our society, those that are at risk, so that they will begin to engage their own personal lives once again so that they can be successful in this wonderful country of ours. Thank you.